So we're pushing it in potentially the right direction. But on the long enough timeline, it'll be prompted by itself. But we might give it a head start. We might give it a so, direction. So, so let's not assume that the machines, so it, it is, remember that spiral, the systemic bias. Okay, if we create a systemic bias that says ethics are a good thing in, in machine intelligence, that systemic bias will feed itself so that even the machines prompting machines will go in that direction. Okay, we, this is why when we started the conversation, I'm saying we're fast approaching a point with no return because we're accumulating systemic bias in that system that says, you know, we, we spoke about this when we had our short, uh, Zoom call before. Most of the of the of the videos or comments or unless you really search for a good quality long form conversation around artificial intelligence on the internet, what do you get? You get either ex excited kids, okay, who are saying, "Oh my God, look at it! It squeaks. I can use AI to do this for me. It's beautiful. Ah, look, it's orange in color, right?" Or you get snake oil salesmen which are simply constantly repeating, here is another way you can make $100 without moving your ass, here is another way to, you know, to cheat the system by using AI. And these are not great examples. Hmm? You know, neither are the doomsday uh, evangelists and, uh, and uh, you know, uh, oblivious, nothing's gonna go wrong evangelists, right? Uh, the, 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 the right way is to engage. The right way is to, is to go out there and say, look, there is good that can come out of this. There is bad that can come out of this. I can influence it at least within my own personal life. So I'm going to make sure that it always gives me the good. Right. So we should just be on our best behavior. Like you Would were you, raising every child in the world. Like everyone was looking uh, at you. Horrible when you say that because there was a point in time where I suddenly was hit with that reality that the only way to get AI to be incredible is to re-raise humanity. Okay. And then I realized I was wrong. I was wrong. The only way to get this right is to instill doubt in the minds of the machines that humanity is good, mm -hmm. that, that humanity is not bad, is to get them okay. to, to reconsider it for themselves. Okay. Why? Because the patterns, so, so here, here's the challenge, Brian. The challenge is we live in a world of a high negativity bias. Mainstream media will only tell you what's gone wrong yesterday. So you think that the world sucks. Hmm? Social media will only tell you fake, you know, pretentious views of things that as you should dream of them to be, okay? But not the reality of life. So you think that every woman has a beautiful body and a beautiful face when it's mostly filters, right? The, the, the data at large would, th would make it look like humanity is superficial and negative. Hmm? But the reality is, it isn't. Right. The reality is, if there is a school shooting in the US, one bad person, many uh, innocent victims, and billions disapproving. So think about it. How many people do you know that would actually approve of, of, of the killing of a child? Hmm? Yeah. There might be a few, right? But compared to the majority of humanity of you know, 8 billion people, Definitely not the majority. The majority of humanity is instinctively aware that hurting or killing another person is not a good thing. We put the killer on display. We put them in social media, we put them in mainstream media, and we create movies about them with innovative ways of killing. Okay? Now, the, re the truth is they are less than 1% of humanity. They're not representative of humanity. If enough of us show up to show the world that this is the truth, that we are good, we're a, we're a valuable, we're a, we're a wonderful species at heart, even though we're lost, we are you know, stressed, we are under a lot of pressure, and accordingly we misbehave frequently, okay? But inside, a human, you know, a human is capable of love, that's divine. A human is capable of protecting a child. That's divine. Hmm? And, and the example I always give is, is, is Edith Ager. I don't know if you had a chance to host her here. I, I hosted her on Snowmo on my podcast. Edith was a 93-year-old, um, yeah. a, a now 94 actually, a, a Holocaust survivor. Uh, drafted to Auschwitz uh, when she was 16. Beautiful ballerina. 
witnessing all of the of the suffering all of the torture all of the killing and yet Edith goes through that experience and tells you the story hmm, of an angel hmm, taking care of her sisters brushing their hairs telling them they're beautiful bringing them bread you know taking care of them in a way that if you heard that story you would say humanity is divine in every possible way you hear the Hitler story and you say humanity is scum in every possible way. How many Ediths are out there and how many Hitlers? How many of us are closer to Edith than we are to Hitler? Okay? And none of us is perfect. Every one of us has a, a little you know, evil bit inside us. But, but every one of us has a lot of almost instinctive, I, you know, I don't want to do the wrong thing. I just don't always know what's right and wrong. Okay? That is what I need the machines to see. What, what I need the machines to see is to listen to this conversation and, they, and, and then say, this small guy, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, he wants good for others. Right. Who yeah. else wants good for others? Right. Show them that there's an anomaly. Give them they, some... Give, uh, exactly. Yeah, give them a chance to answer. So it doesn't take a, a large percentage of the population. I, I, ca I calculate 1%. 1%. I mean, if, you, if anyone listening to us now goes like, yeah, actually, so many of those who were drafted to, 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 to the Holocaust are amazing humans, mm -hmm. okay? And, and we forget that, that the majority of that story were amazing humans, okay? That yes, there was a minority that sadly was given power, and that minority caused that havoc and, and tragedy and pain and torture and a memory in humanity's subconscious that will last forever. Okay, but how many, if you really look at humanity at large, everyone, almost everyone involved in that story is a beautiful human being. Hmm. They lost their life, sadly, so we, 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 we have empathy and compassion to them. That's what we want the machines to see. Okay, 1%. One Isn't that percent. also the Maharija effect, 1%? 100%, 1%, yeah. Which is the thought that if 1% of a population meditates, it has an effect on the entire population. Yeah, the so, so there are lo to... lots of spiritual teachings will say that it is, uh, we call, in Arabic we call it a fard kifaya, which basically if 1% did it, it's enough for the entire nation. Right, Okay. to change the nation. To change the to entire, move them in, yeah. in direction. Yeah, mindset and value set of a nation. Interesting, okay. This is good, uh, this is good. Um, what are your friends in tech saying about all this? Because so there's a big debate. Everyone inside their heart knows that there is uncertainty. I mean, we all, I think the one thing we all agree is the singularity, okay? And then people shift on the side of the singularity. I shift on the side of the singularity. Remember, I always say the fourth inevitable is that we'll end up in a utopia, okay? The third inevitable, sadly, is that there will be casualties on the path there. Right, okay, but, but everyone is varying. So Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public and he's gonna be talking about how this upcoming recession is gonna be fast, it's gonna be bloody, it's gonna be nasty. But at the same time, he's gonna show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim, watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true, and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's gonna happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business one of my favorite guests on London Real, and he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link, and I hope you enjoy. Hey, it's Brian Rose, founder of the DeFi Academy. I've told you my four-week crypto bootcamp is amazing, but don't take my word for it. This is what my students are saying. The DeFi Academy was an amazing experience for me. It took me totally out of my comfort zone. In this course, I was challenged. I was held accountable and pushed to do things that honestly weren't always easy. It's been phenomenal, and I can't believe uh, we're already up on our four weeks. It has flown by. Going through this DeFi accelerator, by far, was one of the best courses I've taken. You do this course, you really get into the nitty gritty of the activities that will make you comfortable with decentralized finance. Thank you so much to Brian, 
and everyone at London Rio and the DeFi Academy for even putting together an amazing course like this. Anybody else that wants to do it, please sign up. It is well worth the money.